Hey guys, Will here, Flawless Exotic Creations, coming to you guys with another video. This video is a different, different, different type of video. I'm gonna try to keep it as upbeat as possible. I will let you guys know, disclaimer, my anxiety levels is really, really high. Um, you'll see why um, as you continue to watch. As you see in the, in the title, um, it's definitely a dark and gloomy type video. Um, more directed toward new breeders getting into the game uh, what's your expectations the reality of things and how do you go about once you're in it maneuvering through it um, <clears throat> for us you know we've been steamrolling ahead um, conquering each obstacle as it you know gets in front of us um, we've ordered racks several several times uh, to deal with space issues. We have no space issues. We actually have a couple empty um, 5540 racks um, to basically prepare for the future. But again, this video isn't toward that. It's about tragedy, dealing with tragedy and dealing with, you know, adversity. We try to keep putting out positive content so you guys can see this journey. But this is part of the journey for us, part of our journey. Tragedy hit us. And hit us hard, punched us in the face. And I forgot how that quote goes. See, everybody has a plan until you get punched in the face, as far as with Mike Tyson. And that's accurate. That's life. Um, so if you're thinking about <clears throat> starting you a breeder, ball python breeder business, crested gecko breeder business, uh, any type of animal breeder business, and you got to look at it from the aspect of it's a business. Care for your care for your animals as best as possible to their needs, period. Our animals come first, we're gonna make sure that all their needs are met. Sometimes, no matter what you do uh, to care for your animals, everything could be perfect. Sometimes lightning strikes and there's nothing you can do about it. Guys, we had um, imported from Roland. <clears throat> Shout out to Roland over at Iris in uh, the Netherlands. Amazing guy, amazing business. Love doing business with him. Um, we purchased a stranger double head puzzle clown. Um, love the stranger gene. We wanted something different that everyone wasn't running with. Yes, a lot of people run with stranger head clowns, stranger clowns. We're trying to push, we're going to work some stranger clowns, but mostly stranger puzzle. We have puzzle girls, we have puzzle girls breeding, we have head puzzle girls, codoms, and head puzzle girls uh, breeding or bred. But guess what, guys? Our stranger male went down, checked on him, and he was dead. So, um, it is what it is. Um, all that money is down the drain. Um, it sucks, but guess what? That's part of it. That's part of being a business. That's what it's, that's what it's like to take a hit. Um, that's a big lick to take. <laughs> um, so, you know, sometimes you gotta smile, keep from crying, but guess what? That's the nature of the beast. Um, if everything in life was going to be easy, everybody be doing it. Everybody be at the top of the game. Um, all the heavy hitters in the game, I'm sure you've experienced uh, snakes dying. The value of snakes is irrelevant. Again, <coughs> excuse me, I'll harp on that. The value of the snake is irrelevant. We want all our snakes to make it and pull through. Um, there were no signs of him being sick. He was eating. Um... He was 700 and I think 62 grams. Um, it was a year and a half. So have no clue uh, what was going on with him. Took him in uh, to the vet, uh, necropsy, I guess that's how you say it. And there's no signs of anything. They didn't see anything. Um, so that's kind of stressful because you also don't want any other your other collection to pass away or anything you don't know what's going on um we've done uh nido testing and all that other stuff we don't have it um we've tested uh six snakes and um collection's good it's going strong we <clears throat> have literally in that program alone i believe it's eight females um, all tied to you know clown combo puzzle clown combos that are breeder size um, and again these are the woes uh, and obstacles of breeding that's gonna have to be put on a halt 
a screeching halt. He only was paired to about three females out of those. Um, it's looking promising to, you know, produce um, some killer uh, breedings, but that male was a staple um, in our collection. So that's hitting us hard. So I wanted to definitely reach out to the new breeders because all the experienced breeders know all of this that I'm saying. This is just a part of it. This is one of the, the scary things. This is what, what makes people not want to do it. But that's not us. Um, so when we get punched in the face, we get, I don't know, just hunker down and get ready for the fight. You know, 12 rounds, whatever it's going to take. Um, we won't be beat. That's just how it is. So... In dealing with adversity, in dealing with tragedy, there are certain things you need to do. Um, either you're going to lay down, or like I said, you're going to get up and fight. So, like I said, on this video, it's going to be different. Much different than what you've been seeing from us. Matter of fact, let's take you on a journey. Let's go. So we're here, Southwest Cargo. Uh, our shipment has landed from the Netherlands. I believe it came in from the Netherlands to Miami, um, from Miami to Atlanta, and from Atlanta to, I guess, Greenville, over here at Greer, GSP Airport. So we'll go in, handle this paperwork, and get going. So I got a little man excited. Can't wait to get them back. Actually, anxious because I'm um, trying to make a good video for you guys so you bring you guys along the way for this entire journey. We've actually imported quite a bit, um, quite a few times. But um, the anxiety is building because I'm going to do the unboxing for you guys on camera. Normally, I would just open it right there um, at uh, Southwest and verify that it's alive and everything is good because I'm... Um, Important depending on where you're bringing it in from can take you know a few days um, flights connecting flights layovers um, Issues with customs. Thank God we didn't have any of those problems, but Let's roll here. We go. So let's make it all happen Remember this go around it you needed a screwdriver to open this all up. styrofoam everywhere okay. and we have movement awesome shavings everywhere <laughs> Pack 
Pastel Stranger Double Hit Puzzle Clown Mail. Is safe and sound. Thank goodness. All just gonna kill me because it's wood shavings. See if I open them up. All right, so that'll be about it, guys. I'm gonna get him into quarantine and be right back. Got him in, very happy. Anxiety level has come down tremendously. Extremely happy and excited. So, this is actually Clutch Mate of our other male. Um, very happy to have him here in the States now. And now we can move forward and continue on the legacy of that project. Um, again, this is really really want to put this out there and make it hit home for the newbie breeders getting into the game um, these things can happen um, moments like this is where you fold or you just find out what you made of um, it is what it is it's time to grind that's all we know um, but this is definitely a message that need to be out there for everyone that's thinking about breeding and getting into it um, the value of the snakes is irrelevant um, these things can happen. You hear it from Ozzy. Um, I believe I was on his Patreon. He was talking about a $40,000 snake male he purchased. I don't remember the genes. He bred them to two females and the male died. Um, I'm sure it's happened with Justin. Um, it's happened with Bob. I mean, just because a snake is expensive doesn't mean that, I mean, it's going to live or it's going to thrive. You never know what's gonna happen with these guys. Um, I mean, wish you could know the future, but what fun would that be? This is the journey we on. I know Audra wish she could, could have made it for this trip, but we have so much stuff on the Crested Gecko side of things that we're doing um, and we're putting into motion. And again, guys, we're doing all this full time. Um, we have no other jobs. This is it. So we're all in, even more invested in. <laughs> um, the totals keep going up and up and up well over 300 grand getting closer to 350 now but um want to end this on the upbeat <clears throat> um like i said more tailored toward and directed toward the new breeders getting into the game if you really want to differentiate yourself away from um the crowd not the rest but the crowd you're going to have to pick out genes that you want to work with that you can figure out a way a path to the next level of that gene, whether it's combos or um, just creating something world first and pressing upon the industry that you're going to solidify yourself as a breeder that really works and really are serious about progressing that gene. Um, you can't be all over the place if your budget doesn't allow you to do that. Um, I believe Billy from Mutation Creation said it best. <clears throat> you can't just go out there and buy everything and then plan um, breedings later you need to go out there with a strategic plan and put it in a place and execute um that's what we try to pride ourselves on but um this will continue it's going to move forward um gonna quarantine him he may not even i mean I'm not even looking for him to breed this year we just really need this male with these genes even though we have uh eggs cooking and everything else so if you really believe in yourself Put your money where your mouth is. Um, I always tell ourselves, or me, that uh, in any battle in life, I'm always going to bet on me. And what I mean by me, I'm a representation of my entire family. Uh, my success and failures, when I say my, I mean my entire family, Audra, the kids, everything. My success and failures uh, build me into the person that I am. Um, and it will continue your legacy on with your children. Um, my kids tell me all the time, they look up to me, they think I'm Superman. I know I'm not Superman, but they believe I am. So 
Gonna lead the family, do what we need to do, continue on our path. We're gonna keep killing it, guys. So subscribe, we really love you guys. Comment down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, um, and we're ending on a good note. Flawless, we out.